this is an official countdown. I've got three shifts left. This is my last week, guys. This is shift three of three. So my shift on Monday went really, really well. I saw a few things that I'm just gonna talk about now. And one of the things was really, really interesting and I'm, I'm gonna try and explain it without going into too much detail because of confidentiality and patience and all that jazz. So we had this patient she had a lot of ulceration, a lot of ulcerations and stuff going on with her leg. They were in really, really bad condition, and basically the surgeon had to remove a lot of her leg. And I don't mean just like chopping it off. I mean going from, hang on, let me get my leg. Going from like outside inwards instead of upwards. So she wasn't amputee. She, they were removing the top layer of skin all of the fat that was under the skin so that she was just left with the bone and the muscle and the tendons basically i don't want to go into too much detail because i don't want to gross you out i'm really sorry about that but i mean for me i love wounds it was a fascinating for me to see and see actually inside a leg it was it was amazing and i really really enjoyed seeing that and experiencing that but for the patient it was horrendous we had to change the dressings and bandage that leg up i felt so sorry for the patient and i was just like oh my god this isn't okay but for me and my learning experience and just it just amazed me and i, I was just there like saying to my mentor how is this skin gonna grow back because there's nothing <laughs> but apparently it does eventually grow back it was a really, really good experience. I loved seeing it. It was amazing for me. Really sad and horrible for the patient. I just felt really sorry for her and I was just, I was gutted. But yeah, so that was exciting for me. Sorry, patient. And then the next thing that happened was I was working in this bay of patients and we've got quite a few dementia patients in there at the minute. This one patient in particular is really forgetful. She knows who she is. She recognises certain family members she knows who her husband was but unfortunately her husband has passed away and all day she was saying to me I'm gonna go I'm gonna go at 12 o'clock and I'm gonna go to heaven I'm gonna see my husband because I miss him so so much and I just love him and I want to hold him again and it's really sad for me and it's just like literally just broke my heart to think that just she just wanted to see her husband again and it was just so emotional to see that and it was literally it was making me well up a little bit and it was just like oh, and what do you say to somebody like that I, I literally i just had to nod along and i gave her my hand and i held her hand and i didn't really respond because i wasn't sure how to respond to that sort of comment and that like what do you say to someone that's at a certain age and she loves her husband and she wants to be with her husband I just didn't know what to say I'm not gonna lie so if anyone's got any advice have you ever had this happen to you please comment let me know inbox me if you want to inbox me and just share the things that you've done and the way that you've handled that because I just literally I just nodded and held her hand and smiled at her and then later on in the day um i was going due to go home and i was just sat i went to her and i sat next to her and t talked to her again and she said the same thing again and then suddenly she looked at me she went what's your name dear oh yes it's claire and she gave me this big smile and looked at me and i was just like oh, it was amazing she actually remembered my name and oh god i'm gonna get emotional again but do you know what this woman i mean i didn't even have my name badge on it on me because it kept falling off and i was i was losing it so i thought i'm just gonna put it in my pocket so she hadn't saw my name badge and f just just because she forgets so much and she doesn't remember the fact that she remembered me and my name is like oh, it was amazing and did you know what that's why i do this because like I've said this in a previous vlog, like I don't do this for the money or anything else. I don't do things to get recognition for, from anything or anything else. I do this because I want to make a difference to a patient's life. I want to make a difference to my colleagues. I want to make a difference to every family member, everybody. So when you get something like that happen, the last nine weeks of my placement, you all know I'm not a ward nurse. I don't like the boards, um, but I will always make the best of every opportunity. But you know what? All these 5am starts, the tiredness, the long shifts 
has just melted away with those exact words from her from her just saying my name and that's why I do it oh my god what is wrong with me but this this is why I do it guys because I love this job I love this role so much and when you get patients saying your name and thanking you it's just the most rewarding thing and there's no price that you can put on that there's no price the feeling that you get inside and I'm crying because I'm happy <laughs> sorry I'm so emotional Oh my god, I'm an emotional wreck. What is wrong with me? This degree, you guys that have followed my journey from the start have probably seen me cry a handful of times because it's so emotional and you'll get these moments that just absolutely hit you in the heart hard, guys. And do you know what? Like today is, what day are we on now? Today's Wednesday. This was Monday that this happened and I purposely waited till today to make this vlog because I thought I was an emotional wreck after placement. Like I was blabbing. I was so emotional because I had this amazing day. I'd saw the wound and then just to top it off, this patient saying my name and remembering who I was was just amazing. And I'm emotional still because it's, is still affecting me and it, that moment is going to stay with me probably till my grave that one moment and the, I just I wouldn't be anywhere else right now than where I am so that's me finished shift two of the three of this week I've got one more shift left tomorrow and I'm done that's it for second year I haven't really got much to say about today I haven't really done anything new to oh i have done something new today i removed a pick line today under the supervision of my mentor i removed a pick line which is a line that goes sort of up here and it's closer to the heart it's a really long line that they put in a little bit like when they put the cannulas in the back of the hands but this actually goes that way i removed that today which is amazing oh and i also did a handover to this the discharge lounge as well so we had a patient that was ready to go home and I had to ring the discharge lounge and hand over the patient to them. So I did that because I have never done that before. So that was really interesting to do. I've done a handover before to other staff members, but I haven't actually done it to a different area where they don't know the patient. So that was really nice. It was good to experience that. And they're the only two things that I've done extra today. I've done my, my normal personal hygiene, getting people eating and drinking, doing wound dressings, doing fluid balance, all of that. It's the normal, usual thing. I've got nothing else to say about today. Tomorrow is my last day. I've got a few things for my mentor and the ward. I've got them cards and I've also bought some chocolates for the ward, some cake. And I've bought my mentor some really nice hand cream and a hand scrub as well because she made a comment a few weeks ago about hand cream so that's what i've got her <laughs> she's got hand cream whether she'll like it or not i'm not sure we'll find out um but if she doesn't it's fine but we'll see tomorrow's gonna be an exciting day i can't wait to finish prepare for the tears guys prepare i'll see you all tomorrow i'm here for the last day of placement of second year i'm so excited you have no idea uh, 12 and a half hour shifts left to go and that's me done, finished until January. Are you ready for this? I am. Let's go. That's it, guys. I am done, finished, dusted. Second year is complete. I'm so, so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so chuffed. I just, I can't believe second year is done with. Last placement is done. I passed with a P star. Let me show you my book. Oh my God. So this is what my mentor wrote in my book. So basically in our documents, we can be awarded a pass or a P star. And you get a P star if you've gone above and beyond your normal student nurse duties. And I got a P star. So this is what my mentor said. I know. I'm so chuffed, she's so lovely, she's just been, do you know what, my mentor on this ward has been fantastic, I couldn't have asked for a better mentor, 
In fact, all my mentors, I've been so lucky that all my mentors have been amazing. But this one in particular, what she's done well for me is she's constantly questioning me. She's constantly asking questions, asking questions, testing my knowledge, testing my skills, and just asking me so many things to get my brain working, to get me thinking about things, to see what I know and what I don't know. And she, she's just been amazing. Like I haven't had any mentor do that before. I've never had a mentor question me like that. And drugs calculations, I think I said that in a previous vlog, she tested me on my drugs calculations. And I was just there like, oh, but I did it. I did it, I passed. But yeah, so a massive, just a massive thank you to my mentor because she's been incredible. She's been so good. And she's just a fabulous, fabulous nurse. And I hope she keeps being amazing. And any student is really, really lucky to have her because she's fantastic. I've really loved working alongside her. She's taught me so, so much and more. And you can tell she really loves having students as well because of the way that she is with you and questioning you and getting you to do more. Anything that's new, she'll be like, come on, come and do this, come and do this. And she'll just get you do, doing so much. It's just amazing. I've really enjoyed my time as much as i'm not a ward nurse and anyone that's watched my very first vlog and i was really anxious about going on to the ward again because i wasn't a ward nurse um do you know what she's given me faith in the wards again and she's just been amazing i've really enjoyed my time with her it's been just it's been lovely i can't say much more than that so my last shift today went well sort of ish um I don't really want to say bad things about it, but it was really, really, really short staffed, like dangerously low staffed today on the ward. And we all had to pull together and just get on with it because there was physically no more staff from anywhere. So we had all these patients to do and there was just a couple of nurses, literally two nurses to however many patients. and. Oh, it was it was tough but do you know what we all worked together well as a team and we got everything done and those patients safety was maintained so do you know what a star to everybody on that ward today because they've just been amazing and it just shows what real teamwork is after today and I've learned actually quite a lot the other downside today was a patient that I've been looking after for a, a couple of weeks now is um he's not good basically and he's probably not gonna last till tomorrow and it's hard <laughs> it's really hard to see your patients like that and see them deteriorate before your eyes and i got a bit upset as you can see um but when you build a, a bond with your patient and you get to know your patients inside out it's tough it is tough when they're just there just for one thing and then suddenly they end of life and you just think life's so unfair like why 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 does this happen and the family was there and they were upset and I, I went and I did like the last lot of observations before I left on him and I couldn't say goodbye to him I couldn't because I was just so upset but obviously I, I wasn't upset on the ward in front of him I was like, I was putting on this brave face and I thought, I just need to get out of here because I really need to cry and just let it out and then put on my brave face and go back. Um, so I did, I held it in. Um, I just acted natural, acted normal around him. I tried to make light of the situation, um, but he was so poorly and um, he's, he's not gonna make it. But do you know what? It's that's the hardest part of this job is this basically and we have to try and put aside our emotions when you're out there on placement on your wards you need to put aside those emotions and just put on your brave face for the patient for the family and just be there for them and then when you get home literally have your time to reflect and talk to people make sure you debrief with nurses when you're out there on the ward because you really need to talk about these sort of things because it will get to you it's really got to me tonight i literally as soon as i walked out of placement i was in floods of tears i'm still upset about it now but it just it makes us human and it just shows how much we really care and how much we love caring for other people and how much we nurse because i wouldn't do this job if i didn't care and if i didn't have a heart but 
sometimes you do have to just a warning to everybody you are going to have those times where you get upset about a patient and that's okay it's natural to be upset but just make sure that you act professional in the ward but at the same time don't be a robot show that emotion as well it's really hard to get the balance but somehow you just do it <sighs> it's been a really it's been not a very nice ending to my placement unfortunately but I have learned so much and I'm so grateful and I really love my mentor. She's absolutely fantastic and I've had a really good learning experience on this ward and I've learned so much and I've done so much. It's been amazing because I love to get stuck in and do things. So it's been really good to learn and build my knowledge, build my confidence, build my skills up. It's just been fantastic. I just feel like I'm ready for third year now. So come the 14th of January, I'm officially going into third year. And I just wanted to say an absolutely massive, massive, massive congratulations. Well done, everybody, cohort 0117 at BCU. You've done amazing. And you know what? We've had the struggles. We've had such struggles. People have had to defer placements, people have had to defer exams because of the personal things going on. I almost had to defer this placement because I had a lot of personal stuff going on. I had to move house and everything. I had so much going on, I almost deferred and I thought, you know what, no, I'm going to do this and I, I got stuck in, I did it and I'm so glad I did it because I'm here, I'm, I'm finished, I'm done now, I've got nothing to worry about, just look forward, straight ahead and I'm just, I'm so proud of every single one of you at Birmingham City University who has come to the end of this year, we've done amazing, we've got there, we've done it you've just you've all pushed yourselves you've all embraced it you've all passed everything it's just a celebration guys and i'm going to see you all in january for third year come on mm -hmm.